shallow wall. First off, I'd like to say, Buck for Yahweh Bush Bashar. Buck for Yahweh Bush Bashar, Bashim Makakadosh, the honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone. You know that rule well and continue enjoying. Bless and salutations to the elect worldwide. Uh, the men of the Lord, the prophets that are on the streets, teaching highways and byways, in spirit and truth, in all manner of sincerity. And you know, may the Lord have mercy and give comfort to the men, women, and children that are of, uh, of the elect of Israel, man. So, yeah, you so called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, you are the biblical Israelites, and those of you that are scattered, no matter how you look like, but through Bible prophecy. For the spirit, you are the children of God, man. Yeah. Check out um, Deuteronomy chapter 28 that blesses and curses that, or well, the curses mainly that will be on us for a sign and wonder. Um, yeah, this is a topic on a um, simple topic, but it's meaningful, edifying, and it's basically church. You know, when uh, as you can see the picture there, when people think about church, they think of a a temple that you have to go to, a physical place that you have to go to, sit down and receive the message, you know, but that's not the case, man. And especially in this day of age, you know, there's nothing but lies pushed out in the churches, false leaders. You hear a lot of um, homosexual and pedophilia in the churches coming out, especially in the Catholic church. You know, um, you got a woman preaching they're in a pulpit teaching men, which is against the Bible. What else you got, man? You got a mixed multitude of, of different nations. You know, you got Jake mixed with the, the heathen. And when I say heathen, I'm not talking about the Israelite foreigners. I'm, I'm talking about literal heathens that have no uh, place in the covenant of Israel. You know, so there's, you know, in teaching lies, um, they're funded by the government. You know, helped by the government or whatever. So they're they're limited to what they teach, which is uh, bringing restriction to the word. And a lot of uh, the churches, one of the ways they make money is by making merchandise with, with the word of God, with the Bible. You know, selling you know, artificial, you know, little bootleg versions of the Bible. By putting their own spin on it, their own doctrines on it, like leaflets and shit like that, and um, causing people to to buy it, man. Which is all those aspects of these modern churches is off anyway, and the temple itself, the physical building is off anyway, according to scripture. So let me just get straight into it. You know, the Bible explains itself. It might split into parts, however long it goes, but yeah. So I'm gonna start with the book of Matthew, chapter 16. Book of Matthew, chapter 16 and verse 18. I'm going to go straight to the point. Because uh, it can bring out another another, another point. But I just, I'm just sticking to church. So Matthew 16, 18. And, this, and it says, And I say on, also unto thee, that thou art Peter. And this is when um, the Lord was basically asking the, the apostles, Who do um, men say I am? And they were saying, oh, They call you these uh, Elias. And all manner of prophets, you know, because he, through the Spirit, you know, the, the apostles and the people of Israel believed in reincarnation. Um, then he asks the apostles, who do you think I am? Then uh, Simon Peter, the leader of the disciples, um, said you are the, the son of God, which the Spirit revealed to him, as it says in the verses above. But Matthew, Matthew 16, 18 it says, and I say unto thee, thou art Peter. And upon this rock, I will build my church. And Peter, in the Greek, it means um, basically rock, you know. And even the language that I can, you know, speak partially in Portuguese, you know, um, for, to say rock is uh, Pedrao. Pedrao is basically Peter. So similar. Because, you know, Latin languages in it. And it says, Thou art Peter. And upon this rock, I will build my church. And we believe Peter, through the spirit of, spirit of the Lord, you know, through reincarnation, we believe that's, you know, King Marshall, King David, you know, 
King David and the, the PR, the uh, basically the lead, leaders of Israel. And King David was the king of Israel, and PR was the, the leader of the disciples, the, you know, the prophets. But you know, that's for you know, some not a lot, not, not a lot of people can receive that man, but you know, King Marsha, you know, the, the basically like for the spirit founding fathers of the this what people call this movement but anyways the main topic is um, upon this rock i will build my church so the word i'm focusing on is church what does it mean so i'm in the blue letter bible by the way then i'm looking at the word church let's see if we can get the definition Not. Yeah, but anyways, the word is uh, in the Greek ecclesia, ecclesia, and it goes into the definition of the outline biblical usage. It reads, um, a gathering of citizens called out from their homes into some public place and an assembly. Yeah called out so that's basically the definition yeah and it says uh, Strong's definitions Ecclesia from a compound of um, G1 537 and a derivative of G2 564 it says a calling out concretely you know in other words mainly used a popular meeting especially a religious congregation you know and it goes on to say in Jew Jewish synagogue or Christian community of members on earth or saints in heaven above assembly church. But really it means just assembly or gathering or mainly a calling out. So keep that in mind. Yeah. And I'll go to the book of um, Acts. Chapter 7, Yep, yeah, this is um, Acts seven forty eight, and it says, "How be it, but Most High dwelleth not in temples made with hands, as saith the prophet." Yeah, heaven is my throne, and earth is my footstool. What house will ye build me, saith the Lord? Or what is that place of my rest? Have not my hands made all things? Yeah, that's what the scripture says. You know, you really truly, you can't build a place for the Most High. Especially us, man. We'll, we'll, you know, we're filthy anyway. We ain't perfect, so you can't really build anything holy unto the Lord. Yeah, but, you know, get Acts 7, 38. Yeah, this is Acts, same chapter, verse 38, and it says, This is he that was in the church in the wilderness now you, well let me read it once then i read it again this is he that was in a church in the wilderness with the angel which spoke to him in the mount sinai with our fathers who received received the lively oracles to give, give unto us you know the commandments the 613 laws yeah and th this should give you a clue already that who this Bible is for, who this gospel is for, which is the nation of Israel, the 
because Moses, the Most High, was dealing with Moses and uh, the rest of the Israelites, no other nation. Yeah, so this gospel is for the Israelites, man, which is you so called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, Hispanics, and those that are scattered throughout the earth. Don't matter how you look like, but for the spirit and prophecies of the scriptures, you are the seed of Jacob's, seed of Israel. Yeah. So that was verse verse thirty eight. So what you want to understand will help you understand for this spirit that it says that that was in the church in the wilderness, you know, and it said Mount Sinai. So that should give you a clear indication of, you know, that the, the after the Exodus, after the you know, the captivity of the 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 people of Egypt, the Egyptians that we were enslaved under our enemies yeah we were we thought we, there was a church formed now was it like a like a castle was it like a, a big building you know we were in the, the scripture says we were in the wilderness like basically in the wild and Moses was in Mount Sinai receiving the laws yeah we may have had you know tents and stuff like that here and there we have did but it wasn't necessary like a, a building and you know you put a cross in it and you put seats in it no it was we're in the wild man this church as we read is the calling out it's in the open basically it's it's not it's not necessary well it is not based on a building should i say There's scriptures then i'm going to read um so remember the Most High doesn't dwell in temples made by hand. 